breed of cosmic kittens and planetary puppies of those who identify with the divine masculine vibe. It's your girl cats, the wandering intuitive, and I'm back with your energy forecast for the week ahead. Though this is timeless, so when you find this, it's time for you. We're gonna skip all the BS today. We got a lot to uh, whew, process <laughs> through just for you. So anything you need to know about me is down below in the description box, including the cards I'm using, uh, where you can find me on social media, and how to book a reading. I will never, ever, ever solicit or ask other, uh, you know, anybody if they want a reading. Okay, so keep an eye out, near out for those fakes that do that. Okay, to find mask. Remember, if I drive with your vibe, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate that so much when you guys do that. It keeps me encouraged to keep coming back and doing these videos for you. I do appreciate you. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys know and get alerted when I upload. All right, let's go. Okay, divine mask. And one of the main energy influences is about commitment. Okay, the ring. This is about commitment to you, though. Commitment to your happy, okay? It's not so much being tested as <laughs> as you're being challenged by it, okay? Um, there is, I'm just going to go with what spirit's bringing in for me, okay, guys? So, okay, we have the snake energy. Uh, this is interesting because a lot of stuff's being revealed even more. You guys may go, yeah, yeah, I know that person, blah, 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 no matter what it is. Coworker, friend, family member, um, a partner ex-partner, it doesn't matter, okay? Whatever that is for you, okay? Well, you're going to see the ways, the snaky ways is the only way I can put it, to see how they were cock-blocking a couple of things here, okay? Your movement forward, holding you back from your happy. You've got an adventure coming up, okay? I mean, you're supposed to be elsewhere now, okay? And this person has been, uh, it could be for some of you recently, been do, pulling out everything in their Pandora's box to keep you from going forward, leaving them behind, okay? Because that's exactly what you're doing, okay? It's like you ran away from the snake, got on the ship, and now you're somewhere else, okay? For some of you, that may be true right now. But here's another thing, an energy that's coming in very strong this week about seeing... For however long you were dealing with this toxic person, they're definitely saying person could be a divine feminine or it could be, you know, like I said, co-worker, family member, et cetera, et cetera, okay? But you'll see for however length of time you're with that person, that person was around, they were totally holding you back from this energy here, which is the fish. And the fish is about abundance, okay? And this could be uh, health too, all right? Blocking the flow, okay? Like things staying stagnant. This person wanted that because they didn't want you going forward. Okay? This could be in work. Could be a co-worker behind your back, keeping you from moving forward. A long-awaited promotion, bonus, etc. Maybe relocation. Okay? This could be, you know, a partner or soon-to-be ex or ex-partner here. Okay? Or a family member, you know? putting off maybe you stepping forward into something you want to do because it'll take time away from them or they get some people friends are getting extremely venomous um when people move forward people start breaking the chains and moving forward a lot of them are basically raising their heads to strike and they're striking flailing they're losing their shit basically you know to try to keep with guilt blame whatever you know they're coming in because they don't want you to flourish they want you to stay exactly where they are and that is it's not going to happen you know once you take your steps forward away from this definitive steps you can't go back and you don't want to you don't because it's going to feel so good over here all right so we have um dedication to moving a commitment to moving forward to your happy it's being rewarded. We have the bouquet here. These are like physical like gifts and surprises that will make you happy for taking those steps. Some of you have been already starting to receive these gifts from spirit. Like, whoa, like these will be 
out of nowhere, just blessings, what are the odds, being in the right place at the right time, stuff like that, opportunities, all sorts of stuff. You know, the flow. Like, everything's open for you now, for those of you who, who said goodbye to the snake, left that snake behind, okay, to move forward. We have the fish, the ring, and uh, to the gentleman, which represents a divine masculine. Your commitment to yourself is opening up everything, opening up your intuition. You're starting to understand the difference, <laughs> you know, for some of you. Um, that's what Spirit's saying uh, between, you know, the emotions, the mind, and the intuition. Okay, learning about that. Please keep doing that. Spirit's totally supporting you a thousand percent. There's a lot more to learn. It's an infinite world spiritually to learn from. Um, for some of you, maybe the snake person, if it's a divine, it could be just a divine counterpart. It's not just divine feminine, okay? Um, could be, <clears throat> for some of you, spirit says, uh, the reason why they were holding you back is they didn't want you to run off and marry somebody else, a divine counterpart, okay? Or divine feminine, all right? They may know who it is, okay? Maybe you already went towards this person and they, they're watching and they just can't take it and they snap. Like they were hiding in the grass watching and then they just, ah, they couldn't take it anymore. The jealousy, the resentment, the regrets, whatever, okay? So be prepared because people are losing their shit both on both sides in the, <laughs> in the collective, Okay? A lot of belief systems break down who they really are. The sucker punches is stuff that makes you cringe that you said yes to or how you behaved. But now that you understand where that came from, you know, you can move forward a little bit more confidently. And for those of you still watching, okay, um, we're going to be pulling your fortune for the week. So uh, pick a number one, two, or three. We're going to do that at the very end here. All right, let's get some tarot on this. I got the golden thread tarot all right spirit for the divine masculine i saw that oh yep there we go right there oh yes okay for some of you the devil energy uh connected with that snake energy okay ten of pentacles in reverse this is someone who does not want to let go someone who is just fearful it is tied into material stuff could be home could be money um job they just don't want to move. They want things to stay the way they are, you know? And that's why it, it could intensify for some of you. You are still connected to this person. Um, yeah. Five cups. Oh, I'm sorry. Eight of cups. See? There's you. Bye. You already, some of you already, already left to find fulfillment elsewhere. You were listening to your heart, okay? And that's good. But this is the reason why this, this particular toxic person is just venomous right now and attacking like they look crazy trust me okay so i know i didn't touch upon this we're gonna do this now because i just had a card pop up okay some of you divine masculines heading towards or have your eye on okay for some of you uh a divine counterpart okay and you're heading you're sailing that way for others of you because you're focused on your heart, what your heart wants, what makes you feel good, it's drawing you and your divine counterpart together. Okay, your divine counterpart, <clears throat> uh, this, for those of you who resonate with that statement I just now made, uh, your counterpart is extremely intuitive, okay, and it has been very diligently working on themselves, seeing their behavior patterns from the past, they've been clearing that out. They're focused on their happy too. Queen of Cups. Could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And it's all because you guys are working on what makes you happy. You know, your heart. Not your emotions and your brain. So you got to train that. Um, staying focused in the present is going to really help. Keep, make sure you don't get sucked into uh, <laughs> this vortex of the toxicity that's coming out of those that are... It trying so hard to hang on, you know, to what they, they don't want to lose the security for some of you. It's just, they don't want to have to start over. Uh, I almost get this, like I heard the word spoiled. Okay. They're taken care of financially. They've got a home. They they don't have to do shit. They have no responsibilities or have very little responsibility, little to none. And they are fighting tooth and nail because they do not want to get back out there. 
and get a job or look for their own home and worry about money and finances. That is the main drive of the snake energy here. They're looking for security, okay? They don't like their security shook up. They don't want to have to do it. They, you know, that's what you were there for. That's what I heard. Sorry. All right, Spirit. What else you got? For the Divine Masculine. Can we look into the fish and the bouquet? Okay. For some of you <clears throat> heading towards a divine counterpart known, okay, you know, you've already met, you've contacted, um, there's a huge blessing coming. You're going to be very happily surprised. Okay, listen to your intuition, Spirit says. Okay. <clears throat> it will tell you timing. Uh, it will guide you on the vibes of your other person. Um, but you can be yourself. You're going to be so... I just feel like whoever already has a, their, I don't want to say target, but their person in mind or in your heart, uh, they're going to be, you're going to be so surprised because they are open to this 100%. They're open to you, okay, in the heart, right? Oh, thanks. Hold on one second, guys. Go grab that. Okay, <laughs> okay. Eight of Swords energy. Um, for the divine masculine too. One of the things spirit says to watch out for is spinning, okay, or cognitive loops. Um, the one way to get out of a trapped mind. You know how you like, oh, I'm so tired, I'm gonna go to bed. And you're not really thinking anything. You go to bed and your brain starts on you. And next thing you know, three hours later, and you're, going, you're in tears going, why won't this stop? Um, spirit saying you need to really fight that energy, um, the spinning energy, the cognitive loops, because um, that can be triggered when you are making new steps forward. You may have been fine and feeling good. And, and then all of a sudden the brain starts kicking in on you. Those are past behavior patterns and that's fear-based. Um, it's trying to spin stuff um, to get you to stop moving forward because it's terrified, okay, of the new and the unknown, you know. But, but you know, it tried to take you down so you don't take those steps. It, it thinks it's protecting you, but actually it's hindering you and giving you lack of sleep, which you need to find masculine. That's a part of your health regimen, you know. And it's been very hard for a lot of people to sleep. Though a few of us have been getting like, you know, at least a couple nights a week where it's like solid. Um, but Spirit's saying all you have to do is focus on where you're at now. Like if you're laying down and this happens at night, you want to, okay, I'm on my bed, um, and name what colors your sheets. What are you wearing or not wearing? Um, how, are you, how do you feel? Do you feel warm? Do you feel cold? Do you feel comfortable? Um, describe the textures. Bring your brain back to the present, okay? It's a bit of a challenge. Um, uh, that exercise is actually, I learned it from the power of now. Okay. <clears throat> So if you're interested in that book, it's by Eckhart Tolle. Okay, so what Spirit says is one of the things it's worried about is heartbreak. Going through this again. You're done with that. Everybody's done with that. Three of swords in reverse, okay? Spirit says, follow your heart. That won't happen. Your hearts. Because now you understand before why you were attracting toxic people. It doesn't matter if it's career, family, friends, okay? Or lovers, all right? You, you know now. You can trust your heart, okay? What's coming for, for you, whether it, no matter what it is, career or friends or a new life is totally fruitful, solid, and long-lasting. We do have the Queen of Pentacles here, okay? This is uh, security, trustworthiness. Um, you have the knowledge, you have all the resources okay in place for you to have this happy new start their divine masculine okay good health okay these are the things you you need to keep in mind when your brain starts the cognitive loop because for most of you watching this i feel that you have taken some serious taken some serious definitive steps towards your happy and you've gotten the rewards you know you start seeing things tangibly in the physical plane and these are things that you can also bring up to your brain when it starts spinning Okay, it's facts. Mm, okay, we have judgment. Okay, uh, what goes around comes around. Not so much on you, divine masculine, but on the t snake people. Okay, this is what you're going to be seeing, and this is why they are going to start losing their minds. 
Okay. All right. Uh, spirit's advising you to stay as far away from that energy as possible. Okay. <clears throat> it's just, yeah, you, you can hear about it later. You know what I mean? Uh, we do have the Knight of Swords, the, the Knight of Truth coming in very hard on this. Okay. This is a lot of truths coming out and this person's going to be called out. Okay. There's a lot of this happening in the physical plane right now. And this is also to let you know that truth is everywhere. It's not just in uh, catching people, their dirty deeds and all that crap. This is about people speaking their truth without fear. Okay. We see that. I see that in the divine masculines and feminines that are, you know, pushing forward regardless of the fears, pushing through that and moving in and understanding it and really embracing this like queen of pentacles. I'm nurtured. I'm well. I'm taking care of myself. I'm focused on what's happy and I feel fulfilled. I feel nurtured. I feel uh, confident. And I, I feel good and strong on the foundation I'm making. This new foundation is totally solid. It's made for you. Okay. As long as you follow that heart. Okay. So the Hierophant verse is about the breakdown and shattering and destruction of belief systems. Okay. And that's what's happening throughout the whole collective. Okay. Some of you may just start realizing like some of the belief systems that you have in place, like in relationships, it doesn't matter. It's just, it's there. There's a baseline, uh, was way back from childhood, you know, that you learned and you, it's, that can be a hard pill to swallow. Not only that, but seeing the real reasons you were chasing or going towards certain toxic people. That's also a cringe, cringe worthy and sucker punch moment to go. Oh God, you know, we were all running around chasing after the ideals, what we were taught to believe what love was. Okay. And a lot of us, you know, are finding that we weren't chasing after that at all. We were chasing after something else. Um, and that's, you know, per individual. So take a resonates there. But knowing that when we follow our heart, we cannot be misguided. It's the heart, not the mind, not the emotions, the heart or soul. Okay. And it leads us to the Ace of Cups. Brand new beginning, overflowing cup. I feel like it's it's tied in with the fish in the bouquet, just this huge out pouringness of gratitude and love uh, for the things that are coming in for you, Divine Masculine. Okay, you've worked really hard. Some of you are just starting that journey, but you have this to look forward to, and spirit is fast tracking everybody. We're not, I mean, some of us are older that are getting this now. Uh, some are younger that are getting this now. We're all going through the same stuff right now. It's amazing. We really are. And we're pro we process things differently. But spirits definitely, like as soon as that break happens, <laughs> everything starts moving very quickly. <clears throat> but remember, take care of you first. Honor your heart. You know, you do have the support of, uh, for some of you, this divine feminine who it does know that you're on the way, even though they don't know who you are, uh, you know, sending good vibes and knowing that, you know, uh, the more they love themselves, the more that helps uh, their counterpart. Uh, I think uh, red string uh, from the red string. Um, I don't want to say theory. It's a. Uh, Why do you do that to me, spirit? My brain just totally shut off, guys. So <laughs> it was like, they get it. Okay, let's get some oracle cards and then we'll pull your fortune for this week there, Divine Masculine, okay? And remember, if you want to book a reading, everything's down below in the description box. Ah, there we go. Okay. Here we go. Divine Masculine. This is from the Wisdom of the Tao. Opportunity. <laughs> Ironically, it has a snake. And it is an opportune time. You're a wise soul and a preeminent strategist. You know your motives and you anticipate the successful outcome before the move is even ever, uh, I'm sorry, is even made. You're on the right track. Okay, so if any of you were looking for a confirmation, you are on the right path. Yes, you are. Keep doing that. Keep listening to your heart. What makes you happy in your heart, like makes you smile when you're talking about it. Da, da, da. That's connection. That's your soul going. Yes, yes, yes. Keep going. You're on the right track. Release for others. 
You are honorable and courageous. Release what no longer serves you. Free yourself from connections to negative influences. Can't make this up. Cut those cords in order to forge new relationships or opportunities, which you are going to be having uh, this come in. Okay, new opportunities, new relationships, meaning new people. Um, but this has to be finished. For those of you who have not wrapped this up yet, Spirit's going to be squeezing that vice on you to do so. It's for your better good, your higher good. Okay. Karma. The cycles of birth and rebirth. Action and reaction comprise our universe. Hate leads to vengeance. Okay. And love leads to euphoria. The opportunity to create good karma is now. All past life influences are working towards a final balance. Your situation arose from past karmic connections, except what is. The one thing that we can control is us. We say, you know, our decisions we make every day, the little tiny things that we, do, you know, we don't really pay attention to saying yes or no to, uh, have now become very important. So make sure your intention is in alignment you know, with your heart when you're making decisions, okay? Make sure you're not being influenced by outside anybody. You need to do what makes you happy, Divine Masculine Land, and a lot of you are learning that right now. And it can be scary and terrifying. But spirits, I'm gonna tell you right now just what I just heard, spirits damn well making it very clear to you uh, with these rewards in the physical plane that you are definitely on the right path and to keep going, okay? You do have support around you. All right. Okay. One, two, or three. Please pick one of those three numbers for your fortune for this week. All right, Spirit. Number one. Jealousy. Watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. Spend time outdoors with nature to reconnect and replenish. Okay. Some of you need to get out and spend you time. Uh, I know it's hot around the United States, all over the place, but uh, going and doing something that you normally, you know, been want, maybe putting off doing, you need to do that now. You need to take time for yourself. Also, whatever you are doing new, you don't need to announce it on social media. Wait till you've gotten into it and it's, it's there set, you know. Uh, before you announce anything, okay? Um, there, remember, we we have a lot of people connected or not, okay, that are going through this, and like I said, they're losing their shit, so they don't care anymore the damage they cause, and uh, they will do whatever it takes, even though they're going to end up looking stupid, and it's going to backfire in their face, okay? <laughs> but the point is, is keep it to yourself, okay? Keep it to yourself, their divine masculine, all right? You know who you can trust now. Okay, listen to your heart. It'll tell you. If something's telling you, oh, I wouldn't do that, but you do it anyway, spirit's going to just smack your hand on that one. Okay, number two, fortune. Number two, luck. A sudden change of luck is likely. Things are working in your favor. Excellent time for networking. I was seeing, uh, feeling a lot about career and connections. Uh, I feel being at the right place at the right time. I'm, I'm telling you, spirit is rewarding you in a way that it's going to be, you're just going to sit there going, what just happened right now? But be a big old smile on your face, okay? Uh, so if things have been really hard and down, of course, you know, with the eight of, um, we had that eight of swords spinning energy there. Um, <laughs> it's about to turn around your favor. Just remember, listen to your heart. You know, if it makes you happy, go do that, okay? Number three, sunshine. The sun is shining on you. Career and business growth, fabulous communication relationships. <laughs> so for those of you um, <clears throat> who have been struggling or feeling held back at, at a career or job you love and you know is yours, it's about to turn around for you. Uh, that snake energy, I really feel for some of you that uh, pick number three, that there was a toxic energy involved in holding you back in career or business, like cock blocking. Um, but the communication in relationships for some of you, if you, like I said, you're going to be very surprised when you open up and talk to your counterpart that you have an eye on, that you know, you know, your heart won't lie to you. You know who that is, okay? Um, or you may have already started, but the communication is going to surprise you, okay? <laughs> It's going to be amazing. I just feel, and not only just with uh, in love interests, but this is also with family. 
and this is also with um, friends, new friends. It's going to be easier to talk to people. You're going to you're going to be connected with like-minded, like people like yourself, and it's a good thing. So on that note, divine masculine, thank you so much for watching. And remember, if I drive with divine, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys to the moon and back. I'll see you next week. Take care.